Hi, I'm Simon from Motordrome. Um, now we're going to do two walk around video, two videos here. One walk around, one driving video of this uh, rather lovely uh, 1971 VW T2 Westphalia camper that you can see lurking behind me here. So two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of engine running action at the end. Hope you like them. Okay, so have a look around this uh, rather magnificent 1971, I think, um, VW T2 Westphalia camper finished as you can see in this lovely sort of uh, rich dark red with a white roof. Um, it's four berth and she's absolutely gorgeous. It's got a few modern upgrades on it such as um, electric hookup, uh, USB ports, uh, twin batteries, um, what else, a uh, modern stereo with Bluetooth and USB and stuff. Obviously it's got things like the rock and roll bed in it, um, the pop-up roof as you can see, it's got a sink, wardrobe space, all sorts of things. Absolutely lovely, it really is. Um, now normally I go around and pick out good bits and bad bits, I'm really struggling to find any bad bits with this. The paint condition is fabulous as it would appear is the body condition. Obviously it's left-hand drive. I'm told, I haven't been through the history yet, but I'm told it's, um, it's a US dry state import a few years ago um, that was restored by a camper specialist. But looking at the paintwork around the front, she's fabulous. One or two tiny stone chips here and there. Looking down the near side, it's as straight as a die. The pop-up roof is in good shape. Near side door, lovely. Got Continental tyre there, Continental there. We'll have a look on the other side in a minute. In here, door cards are lovely. Dash is nice. No cracks in the dash top or anything. It's got an old temperature gauge. Seats have been retrimmed. It's fair to say the, the retrimming has shrunk a little bit. So some of the stuffing is just showing on the back of this um, backrest here, just under here. Just where the vinyl has shrunk a little bit since it was fitted. So rock and roll bed, which is down at the moment, as you can see. That's its sink. Again, down the near side, beautifully straight. This is just a couple of water marks from dew up here. Paint quality is excellent on it, it really is. It's got rear seat belts fitted as well. Um, I suppose one to, I suppose it seats five really, because it's got four, a, a rearward facing seat in it as well. So it's a five seater. Around the tail end, again, all superb. If you look at our photos, you can refer to it with the, um, the rock and roll bed in the seat in position. There's a wardrobe there and down there. And then engine bay, as ever, not an awful lot to see, but there's the, um, the power hookup. There's a leisure battery there, and there's another battery that side, presumably the main starter battery with a, uh, um, a trickle charge point on it as well. Carrying on down this side, again, looks utterly, utterly straight, looks beautiful. Continental tyre there as well, and I'm really struggling to fault this. It's fabulous. Sliding doors in good shape. We'll come back to that in a minute when we go inside. Offside front door is all nice, and here as well. Let's have a look inside here. Door card is nice. It's just really super. That's its um, plate down there. And then in the back, if we open this up, there's your sink. Table folds out there, 
when the bed's not in the position it's in at the moment. And then up here we have got this other section for the um, for the roof bed as well. This bit that's not shown there. Just so I can get that up in there. She really is an excellent camper. If I didn't have one already, I'd keep this. Owner's manual in there, or handbook in there. So there we have it, I think. She is, in my opinion, utterly gorgeous. Um, if you're looking for a classic VW camper, this may well be the one. Oh, I want to check we had a matching set of Continentals on it. Yes, we do. Yeah, matching Continental tires. So, obviously it's got the curtains as well. Um, my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for any more information. Okay, quick video of start up and running on this uh, T2 Westphalia. Starts nicely. Show you the engine. 